Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ola. Ola. What, what, what is this? The full name was again. This is a beautiful Ni Nigerian babe, Ola. Ni and this is the handsome Ghanaian man, Joey. Welcome to our channel. <laughs> but in today's video, which is today's shoot, I'll probably using just one light, right? My 8600B. Is it a B? 8600BM with a 180 centimeter reverse parabolic or reverse umbrella the reason for the choice of modifiers to make sure my light the shadows i'll be getting from the lights will be as shallow as possible we have what we call deep and contrasting shadows and shallow um, contrasting shadows the deep feels like a strong contrast between highlights and shadows that is what deep modifiers are all about. I'm using one to just light up this video. And the umbrella is so shallow that it's going to give me softer, pleasing, not a strong contrast on our beautiful subject here today. I'm using the 180cm reverse umbrella just because it's a versatile umbrella and I feel like each and every photographer should at least have that in his or her own studio space because it, it usually works for everything you can use it for um, full body portraits you can use it for um, group photos as far as my light is concerned that will work very well for you so try and get yourself one i use the godox brand i wish i had different brands but yeah i mean ghana there's only that, the only thing i can afford is a godox brand because ellen Cron and all those stuff are quite expensive eh, don't mind me Alright, uh, before I get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel first. Make sure you turn on the bell notification icon. I'm going to link our Nigerian babes handle down in the description. I know I'm calling Nigerian babe. I'm going to have all these people coming at me. She's beautiful. She's a Nigerian. Me, I like Nigerian girls. To be very honest, I've had like four or five Nigerian ladies on my YouTube channel, and you, you can always tell. Not, not that I'm trying to shade my Ghanaian babes. You be put her fine. Right, so like I was saying, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video at the end. I'll link your handle, my handle, maybe the video guys behind the colors handle in the description. And let's just enjoy today's video. So I'll be employing all the signatures I think I've taught to you when it comes to shooting with one light. And she'll be, you'll just see the outfit she'll be, and we'll just enjoy today's shoot. I'll be using a Canon 5D Mark IV, maybe the 85, maybe the 50 mm and a sigma yeah the, the 85 is a sigma art lens the 50 is an scm lens then the x2t trigger to trigger the godox 8600 with the godox 180 reverse parabolic so yeah let's just enjoy today's video So unfortunately, I can't find my trigger, right? So I'm using a flash to trigger the AB600. That is also one thing you can do when you don't have a trigger in your space. You can buy the AB600 and feel like, hey, I don't have a trigger. Well, take your flash, make sure the AB600 is on slave, and just use this. So this is not going to influence my shoot because it's a one over 128, and I'm shooting, I'll be shooting somewhere around F4, or f4.5 and f5 right uh, with an iso of 200 i don't want to do too much with the light coming in from the parabolic so currently that light is i think 1 over 32 and as you can see we are starting with the loop kind of light it's not all the way to the 45 degree angle where wait the loop and the Rembrandt's lighting are almost always similar, to be very honest. So you can choose to pick one of them. If it creates the triangle on the subject face, Rembrandt, you take it. If it doesn't, take it as loop. So I'll start with the loop kind of lighting, 45 degree away from camera, right? And it will light our beautiful Nigerian Babyola. It's not really going to hit the background because I have feathered the light. Feathering is uh, making sure the light is even on the subject. 
Feathering doesn't make the light soft. It evens out the light on the subject you're shooting. And you can see a black bounce card or styrofoam to my left. I'm using that to prevent the light from bouncing to my white wall and back to the subject. She's in a white outfit, which is going to contrast the brown background. The light is really not going to touch the background, so I'm going to have that contrast between her and the background. And the color combination also counts. So she's in a white top, somehow faded blue jeans, and a brown stew. And she's a dark model with a black hair, looking on sweet. All right, that's by the way. Okay, so test shot, ISO 200 F5, um, stroke power at one over 32. This is a regular ass portrait. Looks beautiful. I have even light hitting my subject. I like um, that the bounce card is sucking away the light. There's light hitting the background, all right. And if, if you guys remember from my previous video, I did mention if you want to take a full body portrait of a subject, just make sure the subject sits. H having a subject stand, well, it's to your own detriment if you don't have a longer ceiling. Or well, my ceiling is not that long either. Okay, so I like what I'm seeing. Right? It looks beautiful, the lighting is okay. I like the shadow play. Let me see how deep. Okay, I'm getting catch lights in your eyes. I'm good with that. So now I have to pull you. Let me put it down first. Let me show you what I want you to do. So kindly get up, stand there, and look at me pose. This is the first time you could see me pose. All right, so you sit halfway with your back this way, right? Then I don't know, you can rest your arm behind. Then you look into the camera. Then make sure these two legs are tipped over. So you see how this is bent, and this is here. So let's try that. It's not going to be comfortable, but let's try that for now. Yes, just like that. And tip to the left. Stretch the right leg. Great. Bend the left leg. Great. Lovely. Just like that. Chin up. Now I need your hand where it was initially. Yeah, great. Chin up. Open your legs a little bit. Chin up. Keep it there. All right, so this looks cool. I'm done with the look kind of lighting. Let's try something else with the lights. Don't put your camera on the floor. Get an assistant, let the assistant hold it for you. Okay. There's also one thing I like about using the umbrella. All right, it's big enough. And oh, I did mention earlier it was a 180. It's actually not a 180, it's a 165. Sorry for the confusion. It's not that deep. It's still reversed, but it's a white inner. It's white and it gives me, it reduces the specularity of the highlight on my subject. So that's also there. Okay, so what I can do now is to increase the height. Uh, our model, no offense, it's not that cool. So you can have. Uh, you are not my model. Yeah. Why I say my studio is not that big. Yeah, I mean, it's not that high because I get to have these issues. All right. If you remember from one of my signature portraits lighting techniques, we've also established that you can do this overhead kind of lighting. Um, yeah, overhead. Right, so let me kindly move you a little bit, right? Huh? So this is the action. That's fine. Right, so you can sit. Yeah, you can vary it. Let's see what you have. Okay. Alright, so yeah, you can look down this way. So yeah. chin up. I'll send the face this way. Yeah. Alright, so turn up. 
fire. So I feel like the light is too much. The, the, the only downside about not having a trigger is you would have to manually go change the light yourself. Okay. Turn the face and look on me. Chin down. Chin down. Down, down. Chin down. Keep chinning down. Down. Chin down. Good. Good. What this usually does is mimic what we usually have at 12 o'clock. But this time around, it's way softer because it's a bigger light source. That's another way of shooting with just one light. Uh, you can see the massive separation between here and the subject. I mean, in the background. I like this kind of lighting more just because of what we'll be shooting later, the central part of the shoot. Right, so I'll employ just these two. You can use a different other lighting techniques for this particular modifier. If you should check the shadows, the shadows are way better than using a Debo parabolic, um, a 120, a 150, like I've used in my previous videos. I can show you that. So make sure you check that video out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe. Check. Can I? Yeah. Make sure you check it out also. She says she wants to be professional. Okay. Whoever texts us should be very, very professional. All right. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe, like I said. Leave a thumbs up to this particular video if it helped you. And if you know why you should get this particular box in your studio, this is why. If you don't know why, this is why. It makes everything look easy and perfect. All right. So I hope to... Can I share some of the raw files so that you can play with it? Right. So she also agreed to me putting out raw files. I'll put it out work, play around with it. Don't post on your timeline, post on your story and tag me. And I'll see how good you have become after working with this particular one. Right, so what I will leave you with is make sure you practice, which is key to becoming better. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.